Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the joyous occasion, the union of man and woman as husband and wife. Marriage is a joyous occasion. It is connected to our thoughts with the magic charm of home and with all that is pleasant and attractive in the tenderest and most sacred of moments in life. When celebrated in Cana of Galilee, it was sanctioned and cheered by the Lord itself, and it was declared inspired apostle to be honorable in all. And now you, Melinda and Ted, at present have appeared for the purpose of being joined in legal wedlock. Will you please signify this by the joining of your right hands? Melinda and Ted have prepared vows which I'd like to share with each other at this time. Me first? Yes, please. You first, Ted. Okay. I, Ted, take you, Melinda, as my soulmate and companion for life. I vow to cherish our union and love you more each day than I did the day before. I promise to be a patient, loving, and caring father to Devin. I promise to always be there for him, to guide him, listen to him, and love him until the end of our days. In sickness, I will nurse you back to health. In health, I will encourage you towards your dreams. In sadness, I will help you remember the joyous times. In happiness, I will be there to make memories with you. In poverty, I will strive to make our love rich. And in wealth, I will never let our love grow poor. You have enabled me to get rid of my past and start afresh. I want to spend the rest of my life hearing your thoughts and seeing your dreams. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this day forward and for as long as we both shall live. Mom, I need the tissues. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry to put your on my dress. <laughs> my mom's so slow. The dress is crazy. Yes, sweet boy. Thank you. <laughs> Mommy, this is hilarious. Devin, okay. you need to hush put. Everything's not hilarious. I never had good reason to believe in love, soulmates, or happily ever afters. Those were things for the people in romance and books, romance books and movies. Then there was you, to my best friend in the perfect tuxedo sitting next to me right now at this moment. Thank you for never leaving my side and for being a wonderful father to Devin. You are my knight in shining armor. I can't see your shield and sword, but I know they are there. On my darkest days, when I feel defeated, you are always there to fight my battle and give me a reason to stand. I love you because you make me a better woman and I do believe we were meant to be together forever. I promise to make you laugh every day. I promise to lift you up and encourage you to be a good wife and mother to our children. I promise you'll never forget it, Ted. Our best days are still ahead. Wonderful vows. The rings, please. I can take that. Oh, just as the vows you have just exchanged symbolize your pledge to one another, as do the rings you'll begin changing, will you be exchanging in one moment. They are made of precious metals to symbolize the preciousness of the love that is shared between husband and wife. They are also circles with no ending or no beginning, as is the infinite love that can be shared between husband and wife. Please. You, Ted, please place the ring upon her left ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. Hello. I didn't really say I'm sitting here outside, Jason. Oh, that is weird. And now you, Melinda, place the ring upon Ted's left ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. Please join hands. What God hath joined together, no, no man set asunder. You, Ted, and Melinda have taken these pledges of your affection and vows of fidelity, and with the exchanging of rings, I do therefore, by the authority vested in me by the state of Indiana and by the Lord our God, pronounce you to be husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a baby. <laughs> uh, it is official.
thank you.